10 things every boy needs from his father. The boy and father relationship is very crucial for both sides, no matter what the status of the father, stepdad, or birth dad. Father figure is vital for the well-being of the son. Now that is why a father needs to build a good relationship with his son. There are things that only the father can give. On the other hand, a father figure can feel distant from his children. The reasons are varied, from being too busy at the office or a different love language. While from the children's perspective, a boy and a girl can bear some burden. A boy needs some opinion and lesson from the same sex, and they can get it from a father figure. Here are the things every boy needs from his father. Number 1. A boy needs to see his father love his mom. Where can a boy learn how to treat a lady? Yes, he got it from his father. This is one of the most important traits every boy needs to see from his dad. A boy needs to know how a man should act, talk, or interact with a woman. They learn it from the first time from their family. A boy can grow into an abusive adult because he copied the behavior from his dad. Now that is why, when you are a father figure, you should show compassion and love with your wife or the boy's mom. They teach them what kind of relationship they need to have with another person, that is, wife or a girlfriend, girlfriend or mother, and other relatives. Now this is how boys learn that all relationships are based on love and respect, not abuse and violence towards others or themselves. Number 2. His father shows them how to face failure. Life does not just have good and happy sides. There is also sadness from failure. An adult man most likely has experienced the downside. Moreover, a man is expected to become a provider for his family. When he fails, it will have a big impact. Often boys are laughed at and compared to their peers and friends when they fail. Be it at school or in sports or other areas of life. They need the understanding of the father and the understanding and sympathy of the mother. A father can understand his boy better, considering he was a little boy himself first. No one can be a better consultant than a person who experienced similar things before. Number 3. A boy needs his father to show how to fix things. When things go out of hand, a father must show a proper reaction. When your son sees your failure, he will be hurt by your loss, but at the same time, the techniques you use to deal with failure will also teach him a life lessons. He doesn't remember your failures, but how you accept your mistakes and get through the stage. He will understand that making mistakes is a part of learning rather than being afraid of making mistakes because he will learn how to overcome great challenges. Number 4. Affirmation How many times do you remember your parents showing their affirmations? A boy needs the encouragement from his father. A word that shows how much his father loves him is vital for emotional and psychological development. He needs to know that you believe in his potential. Expectations are expressed, but beliefs are suppressed. Often, your boy only got half the message and was just saddled with expectations. He can use simple words or pat on the back. Give them affirmations such as, I love you, son. I'm proud of you, son. You're an amazing son. I know you can do it. You make a great game. You work hard. You screwed up, but I know that you'll bounce back. Do you ever get affirmed by your father before? And if you have a son, what will you say to him? Number 5. A boy needs to see a leadership figure from his father. You may or may not be the pastor of the church, you may or may not be the leader in your community, or you may or may not be the boss at work, but you are the leader of your family. Your son needs guidance in your home. He needs to see you leading. He understands leadership better when he sees that you lead through service. You will be able to lead more effectively. As he grows, he will get better at leading his family, his work, and his community. In all of these areas, he will learn directly from you. He witnesses the results you achieve for others while also watching you lead them. Number 6. Requesting for help Even if a dad is the number one hero for his son, 
They need to show that he is not a Superman, Batman, Iron Man, or Spider-Man. He is not a superhero. A father needs to become a normal human. Being a human is learning that we need others. It doesn't have to be epic. It could be your spouse reading an email or a friend borrowing a ladder and some muscles. Only when he hears, I need a little help, will your son see that dad is strong enough to know when he can't do anything. They also show that life is just not about delegating work. Number seven, showing empathy. Empathy is when you are trying to understand what others are going through. You can put yourself in the shoes of others. Empathy is how a relationship can grow and connect. It shows how someone is willing to show patience and generosity to others. Your son can learn how to be empathetic to others based on your example. It'll make him more helpful and able to connect with others. He can become a good person with a good heart. Number eight, a boy needs to hear his father say sorry. Well, the fact is everyone will mess up in one way or the another. Your boy needs to hear his father say sorry. Apologizing is a thing that sometimes most men forget. Even your son might think that you never do wrong. Eventually, you'll need to say sorry for your mistakes that you have made. Humans are not perfectly designed machines. Even a machine might have errors, you know? Humans are not perfect, but if we want to make changes for the benefit of all involved, we can learn from our mistakes and do better next time. Show sincere apology and give an example of how you feel after you screwed up. Number nine, a boy needs to hear his father ask him to talk. Regularly, every father should spend time talking with his son. But it's not just a typical conversation like, how was your son's day or anything. Instead, a dialogue when both father and son sit together with open-ended questions such as, what is the funniest thing that has happened to you today? What do you go to school with today? What's your favorite TV show game? Why? Did you talk to yourself? What are you talking about? What was your dream last night? And so on. A deep conversation like this is needed to make stronger bonds. A boy can feel a much deeper connection with his father. He has a good habit of sharing stories. This way, he also develops communication skills better. This type of conversation can lead to more growth for both parties involved. But if left unattended, it can have serious consequences for the future. So, have you ever said, let's talk to your son? Or has your father ever said this kind of invitation to you? Number 10. Discipline with love. Your son will make mistakes. Just like all of us when we were kids, when you discipline your son, you also get some boundaries and expectations. But discipline is not the same as being abusive. You must do this with compassion and love. Disciplining your boy with love will teach him to consider the consequences of his action. He will reconsider and evaluate the future decisions that he makes. This will prepare him to make the right decisions now and in the future. This will help him grow into a man of integrity that you can be proud of. Disciplining someone using love means being kind but firm. Kindness will let him see what is wrong in his path and show him how to correct it with forgiveness. While a firmness will stop him from making mistakes again but without hatred. It'll teach him how to respect himself more than before he made those mistakes. Too many of us had to grow up without a father. If you're lucky enough to be a father, including a stepfather, adoptive father, or a father figure, step into your role. Make sure to share your love with your son every day. And if you're a son, be grateful to take examples from your father. If you think that your father makes a lot of mistakes, you can fix them by giving examples to your son in the future. I hope that you'll find this video to your valuable advantage and it might help you in different ways. If you found this video informative, do like and subscribe. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. Plus, do you want to suggest us a topic for the next video? Feel free to tell us. See you in the next video. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.